Do you like barbecue? Because we love barbecue. You're about to see all the places we've been on our barbecue tour. We've been in Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, and now Arkansas. And we have had plenty of delicious barbecue along the way. Sit back, watch, take the journey with us as we find some great American barbecue. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of J Bros Cooking. I eat that and today we are reviewing Rudy's Barbecue. We are in, where are we? Albuquerque, New Mexico. A little bit of a different setup here. Obviously we're not in our car. It's late at night. We've been traveling all day. To and, get to this place. Yes, to get to Rudy's and we get there right before closing because there was two accidents on the I-40. One detoured us around and helped save like an hour, but added an hour, if that makes sense. And the other one was consistently moving at 25 miles an hour. Yeah, and I we never- For like two hours. Yeah, and we never ran into any car or anything. I don't know what the deal was. And all of a sudden we just started moving again. But that put us way behind schedule. So we are in our hotel room shooting this- uh, shoot a little picture of our setup it's real professional real professional this is not a uh hostage situation even though it may look like that yeah so rudy's barbecue we got a little we got pictures we'll post all that there's their logo i was just trying to show you guys that's the barbecue sauce so joe went ahead we were going to try to eat there but again it was just before closing so so we got brisket ribs a half a chicken Potato salad. I'm not trying potato salad. Joe's a potato salad guy, so that's all him. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a piece of this brisket. All right, nice piece of brisket. Good, good barbecue smell. Nice bark. Nice bark. A little uh, sound all professional over here. Little uh, smoke ring on there. And I like, I like smoking. I've yet to try doing a brisket myself. My smoking is like literally I. Have one of those little smoke tubes and I put it on top of my barbecue. Hey, a little smell. And I, the rest, I have John do. But this is this is a real deal. This is a good flavor. Hmm. I mean, what, for what we got, I think it's probably average. So we got a decent amount of food. Basically, they charge about anywhere from eight ninety nine to like eleven ninety nine, twelve ninety nine per, half, per pound. half pound. We ended up about thirty eight dollars. It was a little bit more than half a pound of brisket, the ribs, and then chicken on average i'm gonna say probably for barbecue this is pretty pretty typical barbecue is yeah. never cheap uh even for being just before closing they were still quite busy but i'll be honest the line moved quite fast we didn't try it oh he's like do you want mild it's like it's called sissy sauce if, if i known it was called sissy sauce i wouldn't have even gotten it that's the, this is the original i'm assuming that's the spicy then it's called sissy sauce but i think that's the spicy well i'm gonna try this try it up See if it's better with the barbecue. The sauce is good, I'll say that. I was kind of stuck on like, because they weren't scooping into like like one of these containers. The like, sauce, yeah. It's like pre-packed. So that's either it's really good that they're having it pre-packed. Well, when I took a pit stop to the bathroom when you were online, they have big old bottles of their barbecue sauce, like all stacked up. They sell it, I saw it. But moving right along to the ribs. Mm. So let's see, this was half a pound of ribs. We got one, two, three, four, five ribs. Five ribs? I could probably definitely do a pound. By myself. Well, I'm gonna go no, no sauce first. Mm. Good. I like the brisket better. Yeah. I mean, they need the sauce. They're good. Don't get me wrong. These are good, but they came up against J-Bros in a cook-off. I don't know. Yeah, I'd be honest. For being a barbecue place that smokes and everything, I don't get a whole lot of smoke flavor from these. Do you? Actually, this is growing on me a little bit. It's pretty good. All right, so... I liked it, but better with the sauce. Yeah. All right, so now we're moving on to one of my favorites. I love chicken. Like, chicken is my favorite deal in the whole world. Hmm. All right. Chicken was good as well. I think I liked the chicken better than I did the, the ribs. It had more flavor on its own, but still was better with the barbecue sauce. Yeah, so good. I didn't even try it with the barbecue though. I actually like the chicken. I'm a thigh guy though. I'll go first. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that. Wait had... a second, Johnson. Uh, and, that, and Joe's all on his own on this one, the potato salad. I love potato salad. Mm, it's real good. I don't know if it's as good as mom's, but. 
never had moms. You've never tried moms. Yeah. I'm scared. So overall, I'm going to say, let me, let me just go down the line real quick. One, two, three. Not, that's not my scoring, but just the order of what I like. So number one would be the brisket. Number two would be the chicken. And number three would be the ribs. Overall flavor, and when I say flavor, I mean the smokiness, the barbecue, was the brisket. The, the ribs and chicken were good. They had good flavor, but you didn't get that smokiness from them. So overall flavor, I'm going to give to... The brisket. Also, New Mexico, big New Mexican flag, sign said Texas barbecue. But all places do that. A little uh, misleading there. So overall, I'm going to come in at a 3.2 for Rudy's barbecue. It's good. It's probably a little bit above like your average barbecue places, but it's decent, but it's not great. I would say it wouldn't be worth waiting in line for. Overall flavor, brisket was the best. By that, I don't even mean the protein itself, like I prefer brisket over chicken. Just the smokiness was better, and I really enjoyed it there. And then overall, the restaurant, got like 3.2. I would wait on a line up to like a half, half hour maybe, but you know, there's barbecue places that people wait hours and people get there in the morning. This is, in my opinion, this is not one of those places, but it is good. It is good food, and I don't think it was overpriced, so I'm happy with what we got. All right, I'm gonna have to come in a little lower. I'm gonna come in at straight three. So my deal is, number one for me was the brisket, and then uh, the chicken. The chicken's actually almost almost right there, but I'm a big chick, I love chicken. And then uh, the ribs. The reason why I come in at a three, and I know people will probably judge me, if someone from this place probably, if someone from that worked there saw this, I'm not even a barbecue guy, and I don't feel like this is much more above my level of barbecue, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, besides the amount of food that they're cranking out, like for, yeah, I mean, because I, barbecue is a lot of work. So it's like on that scale, like, yes, but it's like, yeah, like home cooked stuff we've done I, ourselves. I've had people that do barbecue that like love my barbecue and I don't, I don't claim to be, a, I guess I have been around a barbecue quite a bit. So saying I don't do barbecue at all is, but I don't claim that's not like my specialty. Yeah. But I, I, I am part of J Bro's cooking. Right. So professionals. So yeah, I, all around though, I'm gonna give it a straight three, which is a high number for me because we only go up to five. So yeah. And the other thing is, we did reach out on social media, and um, according to all the the truckers and stuff that respond, there's nothing in New Mexico. In New Mexico at all. They told a lot of people just said keep on driving, but we're here. And but we the whole deal was we're taking the I-40 to Arkansas. Everyone was go south or skip New Mexico and go here, but well, this was our route, so we figured we'd stop along the way. Yeah. And then Joe needs to uh, also rate his uh, potato yeah, salad. Yeah, the potato salad. And that you can give a number on its own, Joe. Give yeah. that a number by itself. I'll I... give the potato salad a 3.5. Higher than Rudy's itself. <laughs> that was really good potato salad. It kind of had like a tanginess to it. Yeah, I liked it. A little mustardy. Very good potato salad. If the opportunity presented itself again, I would definitely eat at Rudy's again. Yeah, I would eat here again. I'm a 3 on the barbecue and a 3.5 on the potato salad. 3.2 overall for me. If you find yourself in Albuquerque, New Mexico, if you find yourself in Albuquerque, New Mexico, give Rudy's a try. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe. Follow us on all of our social medias, J Rose Cooking on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And like we always say, Joey, it's always better when you review it yourself. J Rose out.